Champs is presented by Lawrence Technological University. Possible is everything. Hungry Howie's, your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. Go to doughraiser.com for details. And My Virtual Academy, your education, your pace, your future. Go to myvirtualacademy.com to learn more. So it's the last weekend before we go inside for the football state finals and for the majority of the winter sports. And of course, this happens, but this is Michigan, right? Welcome to State Champs. We're presented by Lawrence Tech. My name is Lauren Plant. We've got reporters all over the state this week. We are covering all the football semifinals, or at least all that were played. We're out here in Dearborn for the Big Division Two matchup between Livonia Franklin and Detroit King. But that is not all. We have got the volleyball state finals. We have got the swimming state finals. We even got the boys water polo state finals. And we're going to bring you the announcement of our hungry Howie's Mr. Football Final Four. That is about as good a show as you are going to get. I'm telling you, we're it, people. There is no other network out here bringing you this kind of coverage from across the state. So why don't we get this show on the road, all right? Ryan Terpster kicks off our coverage in the Serial City. We start with the Class B Volleyball State Final. Ann Arbor Gabriel Richard, who has yet to lose a set all tournament, facing the defending champs, North Branch. First set, North Branch in blue and serving. They've been a part of five of the last seven state finals, still considered the underdog in this game. Richard's Emma Nowak with the set, Journey Tipton with the spike, and the Irish go up one nothing. The second set was all FGR. After a long rally that saw some really great digs, Irish senior Emily Tansky delivers the kill, and Richard is one set from the title. Third set, North Branch refusing to go out quietly, Olivia Fike gets the kill, and the Broncos try and extend the match. But like every other opponent this season, they couldn't beat Richard. Nowak, Tansky. Ball game. Ann Arbor Gabriel Richard sweeps North Branch, capping a perfect 42 0 season with the Class B title. Now, let's step outside for some football with Mike Gerlitis. Thanks, Ryan. We had a snowy day in Howell for some semifinals playoff football. As the defending Division III state champions of Orchard Lake St. Mary's take on the pioneers of East Grand Rapids. Pioneers get on the board early with the passing game. The Mike to Mike connection as Mike Malowitz finds Mike Clifford for a 30 yard score. EGR up seven nothing after the first. Second quarter, Eaglets driving on the Pioneer two yard line. Troy Marks does the honors, punching this one in. All tied up seven seven as we head to the half. That tie would not hold for long. Ryan Johnson takes the handoff 50 yards to the end zone. That would prove to be the game winner as Orchard Lake St. Mary's tops East Grand Rapids 14-7, earning their right to defend their state title at Ford Field next week. Let's head to Lorne for more action. Thanks, Mike. We head to Holland for our first dip into the girls' swimming finals. This is Division I. Farmington Hills Mercy on the hunt for their second straight championship in three years. We begin with the 200 medley relay. The freshman, Annette Domkowski, 
anchoring the last leg to a time of 144.44, setting a new D1 record. Marlins as a team finished third, Celine gunning for back-to-back -back state crowns. And the junior Cam McPherson would dominate the diving portion of this meet. Celine as a team finished runner-up because this day belonged to Ann Arbor Skyline. Last year's D2 runner-up, now the favorites in D1, 200 freestyle, the senior Katie Ports owning this one, four second win here. And later, she claimed the 100 free, avenging last year's second place finishes in D2. But Ports wasn't done, helping the cause again, anchoring the final leg of the 400 free relay, a final time 324.56, shatters the Division I record by two seconds. Ann Arbor Skyline claims their first ever girls swimming state championship. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Jerry Taylor. In the Division 7 semifinal in Marquette, Ishbreen took on New Lothrop. No score after one, let's go to the second. After a Hornets turnover, the Hematites cash it in for six as Ozzie Corp finds Thomas Finnegan on fourth down for the score. Two point conversion made it 8 0 Ishpeming. After another New Lothrop turnover, the Hematites cash in another early Christmas gift. It's Mr. Corp on the keeper in for six more points, and that puts Ishpeming up by 14. Just before the half, the Hornets trying to get on the scoreboard. Eric Birchmeyer is just able to sneak the ball over the goal line and in for the score. Ishpeming led 14-6 at the half. The turnovers plagued the Hornets all game long. After another fumble, the Hematites take the ball all the way downfield for another score from their senior leader, Mr. Ozzy Corp. That made it 22-6 in favor of the blue and white. New Lothrop would score late in the fourth, but it would not be enough. Ishpeming wins the game 22-14. The Hematites are headed back to Ford Field for the fourth straight year. Hey State Champs, I'm Lauren Jabara. I'm here at Novi High School for the Division 5 State Semifinals between Ida and River Rouge. As you can tell, it's blizzarding out here, so the conditions are pretty slick out on the field. It's going to make for some great highlights this week. What I really want to talk about, high school hockey. For the next eight weeks, starting January 10th, we're going to have a 17-minute hockey segment on our State Champs show dedicated to nothing but high school hockey. We have interviews, we have features, we have hockey talk, we have highlights, everything you can want with high school hockey. We'll have it for eight weeks weeks starting January 10th. That's brought to you by our friends at Pirani's Hockey Superstores, our friends at Lawrence Tech, and also USA Hockey National Development Program. Coming up next, you guys get to meet the Miss Volleyball winner of the year. At Lawrence Technological University, you'll go way beyond the books. Professors with real-world experience deliver hands-on instruction in small classes, helping students land co-ops, internships, and research projects. By graduation, 80% of LTU students have jobs or plans to pursue master's degrees. And most Lawrence Tech grads earn more than their peers. So if you're ready to embrace your possibilities, we want you at LTU. Yes, all right, Ziggy, yes, that's how you sell flavored crust. <laughs> Who's this guy? Ah, uh, well, this is Ziggy. He's actually a brilliant marketing man. <laughs> that's my job. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ziggy, tell him your idea. What if we give away free stuff when you order online? <laughs> what a dumb idea. <laughs> yeah. What a great idea. Mm-hmm. Hey, listen to Ziggy and get a free Howie bread on every online order of $12 or more with coupon code FREEHB. Now that's an idea. Hungry? Howie's! USA Hockey has found its new home in Plymouth, Michigan. Take pride in the red, white, and blue and put on your jersey in support of Team USA. Team USA, building champions. This week we go in focus to our 2015 Miss Volleyball winner and where she's headed next year in the Big Ten. The 2015 Michigan Interscholastic Volleyball Coaches Association Miss Volleyball Award was given to Gia Milana of Romeo High School, a senior this year who helped bring the Bulldogs to their first volleyball state title last year. Gia's eyes are always on the prize. It wasn't one of my goals, always I'm going to be honest, my goal was to get 
a banner. I wanted a state championship. I wasn't focused on a trophy for myself. I was focused on, you know, a state championship. In her eyes, she wants to win. She's not um, focused on individual awards. She's focused on the win, and she still is. And winning takes work. The hard work just comes. If you want to be good, you have to work hard. That's a given. Uh, you got to love the grind. If you love doing what you do, then it's going to be a whole lot easier to work hard. Headed to play volleyball at the University of Maryland next year, Gia's work hard mentality and team leadership will not be left behind. I think Maryland's going to get a tough competitor. She hates to lose and somebody who's willing to, she loves the grind and that's one thing her coach is really stressed is that you're going to have to love the grind to play here and she's ready for it. Congratulations Gia. For State Champs, I'm Stephanie Funkhauser. In Class A, it was the first of two rematches we would see on the day. Novi looking to avenge last year's defeat to Romeo. Novi controlled most of the first set. Erin O'Leary finds Allie Cummings and she spikes it. Wildcats go up one to nothing after winning the first set. Romeo responded in set number two thanks to who else? Miss Volleyball Gia Milana, the senior gets one of her 29 kills on the day, and the Bulldogs tie things up at one apiece. Third set, momentum swings back in Novi's direction. After a hotly contested rally, Cummings, her kill cannot be returned, and the Wildcats take a two to one lead. Fourth set, match point. Novi just one away, Milana at the net, and the Wildcats turn her away. Novi gets their revenge. They win 3-1 over Romeo for their first ever volleyball state championship. Now for some more girls swimming state finals action, let's head back to Lorne. Thanks, Ryan. The Division III championship from Eastern Michigan University. And let's begin with the 100 freestyle. This is the junior Carly Marsh winning her first ever individual gold. The Indians finished in fifth. To the backstroke, St. Clair senior Grace Shinsky in her final individual event of her high school career, surging to beat Hamilton's Riley Edding, the Saints would finish runners up. Grand Rapids Catholic Central had a great day, named the division swimmer of the year, junior Riley Kishman cruising in for a three second win in the 200 freestyle. Riley also successfully defended her title in the breaststroke. Another GRCC swimmer who grabbed a pair of individual victories was the sophomore Susan Legrand. Here's the 200 IM winning by a big margin. In the butterfly, Legrand battling from behind and toe to toe with St. Clair's Shinsky, but it's Legrand who touches first for a meet record time of 56.85 seconds. And Grand Rapids Catholic Central by a 100 point margin wins state title number one in school history. Hey guys, it's Stephanie here from Brighton High School for the Division I semifinal between Romeo and Grand Ledge. Coming up in 2016 is RoboZone, back and better than ever. The theme this year is medieval and teams around the state of Michigan are preparing for another epic season. We're your home for high school sports and robotics. Stay with us. Are you considered a top male or female athlete in your sport? Listen up! The Detroit Athletic Club is celebrating 20 years of awarding thousands of dollars in college scholarship money. Founded on athletics, but not only athletics, but also to the, the citizenship part of the commitment. And so it's all about bringing that together. 12 male and female student athletes will win their share of $15,000. Go to nsa.thedac.com. You must return the application by January 31st for your chance to win. Fundraising should be fresh, flavorful, and simple. We have the perfect solution at Hungry Howie's Dough Razor. Your nonprofit organization can sell paper pizza certificates that your customers can redeem for one medium pizza at participating Hungry Howie's locations. Go to doughraiser.com to learn about, sign up for, and order everything Dough Razor. Request a Dough Razor kit for your group today. Your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. Welcome to Hungry Howie's Dough Razor. 
Snap Camp is Metro Detroit's original Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram dealer, and we're still making the best deals every day. During the Black Friday Blockbuster sales event, lease a Chrysler 200S for $139 a month or a 300 Limited for just $199 a month. Celebrating 25 years of giving customers a superior buying experience. That's Snap Camp on Telegraph Road in Redford. Snap Camp, Metro Detroit's original. Snap Camp, Snap Camp. FAR Therapeutic Arts and Recreation has designed therapeutic programs that allow family members to participate. These inclusive programs give families greater understanding and individuals with special needs stronger emotional support. FAR is a good place because it helps my little brother. I like to do drums and stuff. I like to do bam, bam, boom, slam. For 60 years, FAR has provided creative arts therapy for individuals with special needs. FAR can help. Visit far-therapy.org. Ryan Terpstra back with you with the eight-man football state championship game. In this year's final, we had Powers North Central from the UP. They took on Battle Creek St. Philip. Both teams going for their first state championship. St. Philip's in white, and they would strike early in the first quarter. Braden Dar gets the pitch. He is in from 10 yards away. Tigers led 7-0. Back comes Powers North Central as Bobby Kleinman goes up the middle and he's going to go in from 52 yards for the touchdown. They trailed 7-6 to six after the first quarter thanks to a missed two-point conversion. We go midway through the second quarter with St. Philip up 14-12. to 12. Brendan Gossel with the short pitch to David Downey and the senior keeps his feet underneath him and scores from 31 yards out. St. Philip is up 21 to 12. But Powers North Central came back in this one in a big way. Jason Wittens going deep, connects with Bobby Kleiman. He goes in for the 63 yard touchdown and that helps the Jets pull away in this one as Powers North Central wins their first eight player state football championship 58 to 33. We move to the Class C State Finals. Bronson taking on last year's champion, Monroe St. Mary's Catholic Central. St. Mary's in green and serving. Bronson setting it up for Kieran Sikander, and the senior sends it home. The Vikings win set number one. The second set was a lot of back and forth. Bronson to the talented junior Jill Piles. She drives the kill into the ground and Bronson takes a two set to nothing lead. Third set and the Vikings are looking to close it out but SMCC's Leah Ritchie turns them back at the net and we are tied at 24 apiece. Bronson able to go up by a point and they would finish. Alexa Redkowski sets for Sikander and Bronson wins their first state title since 2009, three to nothing over Monroe St. Mary's. Time for this week's look inside Lawrence Tech. Brother Rice High School and their neighbors at Lawrence Tech have formed an academic partnership enabling Brother Rice students to earn college credits. Brother Rice has been looking at this creation of a STEM Academy for several years. Uh, we thought that we had a unique opportunity to, to set up a strategic alliance or a partnership with an institution that certainly has some STEM strengths, but certainly, uh, uh, frankly, all four categories, science, technology, engineering, and math. We have a STEM center that is going to open in the brand new building. What a wonderful opportunity will it be for us to share that facility for these bright young students next door. And the merging of these two institutions has been perfect in more ways than one. So this is a natural mix of two institutions. Both stand for excellence. Both have high academic values. Both are instituted investor in STEM education. And both believe that a good athlete is a good student because healthy body is a healthy mind. For more information on Lawrence Tech University and all the opportunities they offer, head to ltu.edu. 
Okay, it's official City Champs fans. Our signing day show is going to air Saturday, January 30th at 11 a.m. right here on Fox Sports Detroit. If college sports are in your future, make sure you guys send us an email, signingday at statechampsnetwork.com. We want you on the show. We want you signing in front of your fans, your friends, your family, and three and a half million other families around Michigan. Coming up next, more football highlights along with swimming highlights and even men's water polo highlights. We'll see you guys in a few. Lawrence Technological University, you'll go way beyond the books. Professors with real-world experience deliver hands-on instruction in small classes, helping students land co-ops, internships, and research projects. By graduation, 80% of LTU students have jobs or plans to pursue master's degrees. And most Lawrence Tech grads earn more than their peers. So if you're ready to embrace your possibilities, we want you at LTU. USA Hockey has found its new home in Plymouth, Michigan. Take pride in the red, white, and blue and put on your jersey in support of Team USA. Team USA, building champions. Students in 6th through 12th grade can learn from the safety of your home with My Virtual Academy. Students are provided all the necessary equipment and an internet connection if needed. The online curriculum is supported by teachers who are in scheduled contact with students and parents. Go to MyVirtualAcademy.com and discover a new way of learning and living with My Virtual Academy. Welcome back to State Champs. Hope you're enjoying the snow thus far. I mean, the show thus far. We've got a lot more highlights to get to, including this one here in Dearborn between Livonia Franklin and Detroit King. But right now, let's get back to the highlights. In the Class D Volleyball Final, a rematch from last year, Battle Creek St. Philip. They've been State Champs nine years in a row. Leland trying to take another shot at the Tigers. We pick things up at game point in the first set. Leland in yellow looking to close it out. Vienna Hennig with the tap and the Comets take a 1-0 lead over St. Phil. Second set, Tigers get back into form. They find their senior leader, Abby McKenzie. She smashes it home. St. Philip had a three-point lead late, but Leland would claw their way back in front. Tigers going for the kill, but Eva Grobel gets up high and sends it back. Leland one set away from the title. The last team to defeat St. Philip was Leland back in 2006. Nine years later, the Comets do it again. Maddie Trumbull with her 14th kill, and Leland is your Class D state champion. Let's dive into the pool now for the boys' water polo state championship. A pair of eagles squaring off as Ann Arbor Skyline took on Hudsonville. Skyline in the white caps going for water polo state title number one and fresh off knocking off number one Rockford in the morning semis. First quarter, the sophomore Wilson Nall, the lob. Eagles, a 1-0 lead. This, a rematch of last year's first round game in which Hudsonville beat Skyline. Fuel to the fire as the senior Ryan Vandermulen rocks and fires. Skyline out to a quick three-zip lead. But back comes Hudsonville before the end of the quarter. Off the restart, the junior Austin Atwood finds the back of the net. Hudsonville trailed four to three. High scoring first half, Hudsonville lighten up the scoreboard again. Lucas Betzold, the quick dish to Drew Brevy, sizzles it into the strings. Game was tied at eight at halftime. But Skyline made the necessary adjustments, shut out Hudsonville the rest of the way. Back on offense, great cross here, James Rosapal the snipe. Skyline has only been a school for seven years, just a four year water polo program, now state champs. They win 12 to eight. <laughs> Back to football, Division 8, the Ottawa Lake Whiteford Bobcats matched up with the Waterford Our Lady of the Lakes Lakers. 
It's been the Scenarius Show all season long for Our Lady of the Lakes. First quarter, Clay Scenarius hooks up with his twin brother Devin in the back of the end zone, just like the backyard. Lakes benefited from a safety as well and led 9-0 after one. Bobcats then made it a 9-8 game until the Lakers put up a pair of scores. Isaac Oliver spins his way to pay dirt. Our Lady led 22-8 at the break. Jump to the final quarter. Lake senior Chris Carty had six catches for 76 yards, also ran for 43, including this 31-yard touchdown. Later, Oliver put this one to bed. Gaping hole, and he will gallop 25 yards untouched. Waterford, our Lady of the Lakes, beats Ottawa Lake Whiteford 36-20. Back to the championship for the first time in 13 years. Back to the water for the Division II girls swimming finals at Oakland University. We begin in the 200 IM and Gross Point South senior Claire Young became the first Blue Devil to win two events in the same finale. She also captured the backstroke as Gross Point South finished seventh. Marion came in the defending champs and this is the 50 freestyle. Top of your screen in the yellow cap, Sophia shot beats Jenison's Leah Doctor, but Marion took four. East Grand Rapids, Division III state champs the past two years, now bumped up to Division II. Junior Gabby Higgins anchored the last leg in the 200 free relay to a new Division II record time of 134.48. 19 swim state championships for the Pioneers. Higgins again helping the Pioneers to a two-second win in the 400 free relay. East Grand Rapids though took second because Dexter came in hot. 13 years the last time they hoisted the hardware. The sophomore Annette Schultz won two individual events on the day for Dexter, taking the 200 freestyle earlier. This is the 100 free. Schultz edging Marion shot for gold. The Dreadnoughts captured four races this day in the breaststroke. Senior Lizzie Merriman to the wall just before Seaholm's Allie Russell. And Dexter wins their first state title since 2002. We go back outside Detroit Athens who had to call out the plow for a Division I state semifinal. 10-2 Detroit Cast Tech on a mission to plant their flag at Ford Field next week, but they had to get through 10-2 Canton. This became an instant classic. Bird's eye view and Canton struck lightning on the first play from scrimmage. Get this, Marcus Sanders, 40 carries, 303 yards rushing, four touchdowns, ridiculous. Still in the first, and it was the technician's turn to turn it up. Donovan Johnson finds daylight, 145 yards and two scores. Cast led 21-14 at the half. Technicians kept coming. First ever start for QB Aaron Jackson. Beautiful ball to the junior Donovan Peoples-Jones, and this is why he's got some of the best college programs on their wish list. 78-yard TD, CT up 34-14. Jackson had 238 total yards, and how about Peoples-Jones giving the people what they want? Touchdowns, 80 yards to the house, 40-21 cast tech. Do not let me underestimate the fight Canton fought. But in the fourth, Tim Cheatham finishing off a 128-yard two-score afternoon. Cass Tech, a snowy celebration. They hang on to win 48-41 back in the state finals since they won back-to-back -back state titles three years ago. Hey guys, do you want to keep up with everything State Champs? Head to our website, statechampsnetwork.com slash connect and sign up for our weekly Friday newsletter. Coming up next is more highlights in our second half hour of State Champs, all the semifinal action, so stick with us.